Hi folks, Jen or Murgerfin here with a review of the VMod XL from Vapage.com. Let's take a close look and get this out of the way and then we'll come back and talk. So let's look at the packaging for the VMod XL Silver Anodized Edition from Vapage.com. Focus. It's not cooperating. Oh well. There's the box. Magnetized top. A little warranty card. Our manual. Uh, an extra proprietary juice bottle. You don't need the cap when it's going into the VMOD itself. A longer drip tip. There's a short drip tip already on it. There's a cardamizer already on it and it comes with one of their hybrid atomizers. If I can get it out. Kind of looks like a deep ridged hybrid. Let me get that back in there. There we go. Standard atomizer. And then the VMOD itself fully assembled with a shorty drip tip on it. So let's take a close up look at the unit itself. Nice and shiny. It's got a shorty drip tip on there. Let's take that off. Has the cone. The cone is the only thing holding the silver metal casing outside the other plastic. And that is the special thing that lets this VMOD work with any atomizer. Don't lose it. Without that on there, that whole seal and section in there only works with their specific atomizers and cardamizers on the feed system. Once the cone is off, you can take the uh, metal jacket off the outside. And I mean, it really is very, very thin metal. I step on it and, and it'll dent or misshape completely. And it's really not very sturdy plastic, either the bottle or the plastic finish itself or the button. So you have to take that off to get to the plastic case there. That button does have a turn. You can turn it to the left and it'll turn off. It doesn't turn all the way really tight. It'll still have some play in it. Proprietary bottle. I turn that switch on and off, and even when it's off, it still has some play in it. It's just not going all the way down. So it doesn't feel extremely sturdy, but it does have a lock to be pocket safe, and that's all mechanical. And again, still quite a bit of give when you have it in the lock and the open position, but it does stop it. Vapage logo on the bottom. Let's put it back together. Well, before I let it put it back together, let's take a look at that that silicon ring in there that's holding the kind of the plastic seal from the bottle and making that tight. Um, Got to make sure not to lose that. It provides that seal. So, the V mod. Um. It works surprisingly well. I haven't ordered one of these before because it required proprietary cardamizers on their VMOD. Um, the new ones do not. You can use them with any cardamizer, any atomizer, even a 306 with a long drip tip will come up through the cone. The cone is kind of great because, you know, well, here it is in comparison to a Rio Grande. About the same size. Little rounded edges are more comfortable. It is definitely not as solid. This is a solid block of aluminum that you can drive a truck over and you won't kill it. But it has that top trickle and sometimes juice comes out of my atomizer and goes into there and then overflows it because, you know, I filled it too much and didn't vape it all out. This little cone, I haven't had a single drip or leak, even with the amount that I over squonk or squeeze my bottle. 
it's not real sturdy. It's cheap plastic on the inside. It's a really thin metal cover. The only thing holding that metal cover on is the cone. So sometimes when I'm pushing the button, it almost feels like I'm pushing the cover up, but I'm not. It is nice and comfortable in the hand. The thing is, it works. It works really well. And it's only 80 bucks. So if I break it or I throw it out of building, I don't have to spend 150 to 200 dollars or more to get my bottom feeder back. Um, it's nice in the hand. I actually find I'm uh, firing it more this way as opposed to this way. But that could just be me. The one caveat is like, and I can even pull one out just for well, mostly for fun and comparison. A Revolution V2, which was our other, you know, cheapy bottom feeder mod. Um, made of plastic It's a little smaller. It's a little thinner same kind of rounded But like its revolution brother, there is no um, Hose inside the bottle going down to the bottom so to squeeze juice up into it You actually do have to turn it at a little bit of an angle and give it a squeeze um, But you know so I gotta hold it up a little bit. It's not bad. works well it's just a standard actually it's a Cisco that I've used for something else and cleaned and just slapped on here it's a little pink spot watermelon wave works really well and I don't have to be you know scared that I'm gonna scratch it or you know drop it or break it or something else like you know my fancier bottom feeders um, it's just a nice little solid holding unit um, for $80, I mean, as long as you realize that what you're getting is not, you know, stellar quality, it is cheaper materials, but it's a cheaper product too. Um, so that works out well. And um, I actually kind of like them. VMOD XL, use any atomizer you like. Thank you.